throughout the whole of the 70s there was lots of new exciting music coming on the scene and um, myself at the time being a young person playing in bands um, it meant I had lots of opportunity to play live there were venues in almost every town that you could play in regularly and it also meant there was lots of new music to become involved with. One of my favourite bands at the early part of the 70s uh, was a band called Wishbone Ash mm -hmm. who um, as a guitar player were very interesting because they actually had two dual lead guitars so that was always very interesting harmonically. Um, I think also um, Thin Lizzy uh, from sort of 74, 75 became quite an important band for me. But I was also into prog rock. You did have, um, you know, a very interesting element with prog rock that it really um, meant that you had to really concentrate on the music rather than um, the simplicity that some music could become at some stages in the early part of the 70s. I think that throughout the 60s there was a, a real high state of idealism and hope uh, in the future and I think a lot of young people who grew through that had anticipated in the 70s that life would get a lot better and in fact life didn't get a lot better in Britain. Um, you know there were changes made by the government, um, miners were being undermined literally uh, in terms of their job. Um, and it meant for quite an unhappy um, moral issue in the UK. Um, and I think that as uh, particularly prog music got a little bit more bombastic, and it certainly did in, in the mid to late 70s, I think there had to be a reaction both musically but also culturally to that. And I think the time was right, people had had enough, they wanted a change of, of um, government, they wanted a change of attention to their particular needs in life. And I think punk came came at them, you know, full blaze um, of, of saying, look, you know, stick this, we don't want this, you know, uh, up yours, basically.